Hey motoristas, this is Jericho. Uh, welcome to Moto IoT. Uh, today, I just want to show you guys this 3D printer that I bought. My first 3D printer ever. Um, it's a TiVo Nereus um, 3D printer with Wi-Fi module. Uh, and then this software that, you're, that you see on my uh, laptop right now is the Repeater Host, which uh, is the recommended software by, uh, by this product. Um, so I'm printing my first 3D object, which is a, um, a filament wheel holder. It seems like it. It actually just came default as you know with the <laughs> with the software when I downloaded it. So might as well print that one, right? Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you guys pretty much. Um, well, you know the reason why I bought this. Um, this 3D printer is uh, I wanted to use it basically to print uh, housing components for the you know um, projects the DIY projects that uh, I'm doing for you know for a motorcycle for example the if you've seen the the video well not the the blog that I posted on the website for the uh, motorcycle rain sensor so that one uh, is uh, based upon the uh, uh, Arduino MKR1400 GSM uh, board and the uh, Sun Sunfounder rain sensor. So I don't really want to um, hook it up within the motorcycle's electrical system because first I have no experience doing that, and second I want to be able to actually easily take out the uh, the that component. Uh, you know whenever I need to take it out so what I want to do instead of you know leaving it exposed I want to go ahead and 3d print a component for it right so there you go it finally started um, it's print uh, yeah I'm, it's gonna take about about four hours and 46 minutes if you see it right here uh, to print this particular object so uh, I'm just gonna keep coming back to it and checking the the progress uh, and so stay tuned hey guys so uh, we are on our uh, two hour mark with our 3d printing uh, as you can see our object is starting to take form right there um, if you are new to 3d printing and do not have uh, an idea uh, of how it works yet so basically for this particular type of 3d printing which is a, a filament based 3d printing or FDL uh, what it does is it's using the, uh, the X Y Z coordinates to determine the points in which it's gonna uh, uh, print so this if you see this bed right here that moves um, you know up and down like that that's the Y axis and then you see this bar which holds this extruder I will explain that in a little bit later so that bar is the x-axis that de determines you know uh, the left and right motion of the extruder and then you have the y-axis I mean I'm sorry the z-axis which determines the height of the layer uh, the layer very much is the, the height of the object right there as you see it uh, so yeah so this extruder melts the filament that's why it's called FDL it's a filament based 3d printing so this is the filament right here it gets fed through this um, tube right here and then and, and it's melted by this extruder this extruder has the uh, uh, that heated part right there at the bottom I don't know if you can see it the, you know so it melts the filament and then it pretty much uh, uh, secretes that into that particular point on the XYZ uh, axis right so that's pretty much the, the basic concept of 3d printing there are other type of 3d printing out there uh, you know and I recommend that you either um, uh, watch YouTube videos or there's a book that I'm actually reading right now called uh, from a, um, it's called the uh, I forget the name of it, but it's from the uh, maker. 
uh, getting started with 3D printing. So if you, I, I bought it on uh, Google Play Books section, so you can you can research that in there. But you know, it's very easy, it's pretty easy to follow. Uh, I have no experience with 3D printing before. Again, this is my first 3D printer, the Tivo Nereus, which I like so far. I haven't encountered any problem um, with it. Pretty easy to follow and pretty, pretty easy to assemble. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend this product if you get uh, if you wanna get into 3d printing I will post the uh, the link To this product on Amazon In the description so you can check it out there uh, But yeah, um, so far so good. This is our two hour mag two hour mark uh, I have two more hours to go <laughs> My wife and my kid is already waiting for me because we're supposed to go to the pumpkin patch today um, so, you know, I told them two more hours, but yeah, we will uh, resume when uh, the, uh, the, the uh, you know, when it's done printing. All right, see you later. All right, it's finally done. And uh, I st started around, I think 10 o'clock and it's already 2.21 now. So as you see, it looks pretty good. There are some uh, some uh, defects, but that was my mistake because um, it's printing directly from my laptop, and I set my laptop to go to sleep every you know, five minutes if I'm not using it. So I forgot to turn that off. So whenever it sleeps, it times out. And it kind of like you know it creates that that defect that you'll see in there, uh, but you know not not a big thing. So it looks really good. I hope you like this video and found it helpful. Uh, definitely, I recommend this product for you guys if you're getting into 3D printing. Uh, again, check out the link on the description.